Hello, I'm Annabelle Daniel, the Chief Executive Officer of Women's Community Shelters. And we have yet another packed newsletter and the month of March to report on. And boy, what a month it was. We kicked off the month with International Women's Day and what a fantastic opportunity it is to showcase the work that our shelters, both operational and in development, are doing. Um, if I could have split myself about three different ways on International Women's Day, I would have, because a number of our shelters were doing some of their really significant fundraising and awareness raising activities that day. So congratulations to um, Camden and our Reevesby shelters, which are in development currently, um, and also to our longest established shelter, Northern Beaches, for a very very successful fundraiser. Thanks also too for all of our donors and supporters who also got behind the rest of our shelter network for International Women's Day. A great day and I would say that we don't just choose to challenge every day, we have to challenge every day to build an Australia where domestic and family violence is no longer acceptable. On Monday the 15th of March, Women's Community Shelters representatives marched in Lismore, Newcastle and Sydney at the March for Justice. As part of the work we do at Women's Community Shelters, we support women and children whose voices are rarely even heard, let alone taken seriously. And it's our view that it is beyond time for the domestic and family violence system and for law enforcement to do more to protect victims and women's and children's safety. For those reasons, we were there to walk alongside women in our services, to represent them and to let it be known that there is reform that is needed. Congratulations to the team at Women's Community Shelters Hub and the Parramatta Women's Shelter for successfully running our second Facebook Live event to celebrate Parramatta Women's Shelter's first birthday. Parramatta Women's Shelter has received wonderful support from a range of donors, beneficiaries and supporters and it was a wonderful opportunity to reflect on the collaboration that has brought the shelter to life. So congratulations Parramatta Women's Shelter on one year of operations and we'd encourage our supporters to check out the Facebook Live on our page. And finally this month, and um, I'm a little bit embarrassed to be talking about it, but I was delighted to be the recipient of a Pro Bono Australia Impact 25 Award, which recognises influential leaders within the not-for-profit sector. These awards are well-renowned. Um, they are voted on by one's peers and colleagues, and it really is a tremendous honour to be nominated amongst the 25 for 2021. And I think it's a wonderful recognition of the work of women's community shelters that we do in communities every day. So I was delighted to accept this award on behalf of our wider shelter network. Another event that's happened this month is that I was elected to chair DV New South Wales, which is the peak body for women's domestic violence services in New South Wales. Uh, it's a tremendous honour. Women's Community Shelters has been a member of DV New South Wales for the last six years. And so to be elected chair by my peers on the board is uh, a huge honour. Uh, DV New South Wales does incredibly important work with over 80 members across New South Wales and covering everywhere from Burke and Wilcannia to Greater Metro Sydney. The work that our members do is professional, it is high in expertise and it supports women and children on the front lines every day. So to be elected chair of this incredible representative organisation is a huge honour and I look forward to giving my best to it. And I couldn't sign off today without acknowledging that it is March 2021. And after the year that was, my goodness, uh, the COVID year, the year when we pivoted our entire business in a matter of weeks, and a year where our frontline shelters worked harder and longer and with more commitment than I could ever have imagined. And in those circumstances, what else can I say but the biggest thank you to our shelter boards and our staff for all of their incredible hard work during this time. I know it was a time of anxiousness for many people. There were lots of unknowns that we were working with and we were working incredibly hard to support women and kids where they were. And I think it's important that we take the time to reflect on that. Um, I look forward when we put our annual report together in a couple of weeks to talking to some of the things that we did to keep women and children safe during that time. But in the meantime, my gratitude and thanks to the entire WCS network for the hard work and for surviving to March 2021.